you think this was kind of, hey, we were going to do a Mando season four. Let's do this movie instead. Completely. And there's probably a lot of reasons, right? Pedro Pascal, yeah. potentially Reed Richards, potentially oh uh, Last of Us season two. Man right. in Hollywood. Welcome back to The Break Room. I'm Brandon Bear. Who cares? Joining me today, we got Tom Michelson. Hey, how's it going, guys? Happy New Year, or whenever you're watching this, happy, what, uh, Valentine's Day, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> They're waiting to Valentine's Day yeah. to watch this news heavy show. <laughs> it was a romantic show about Star Wars. About Star right. Wars. So, yeah. And all the way from Peridia, we got John Costa himself. I'm a zombie. <laughs> happy birthday. How about that? Happy birthday to the New Year. Whoa. Valentine's oh, Day. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Oh. I don't know. Happy Someone's birthday. birthday out there. Yeah. You dropped an F bomb in like the first. Yeah, that's going to need to get bleeped. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Brian's not even here today. Jeez. Just <laughs> listen, let's cut to the chase right now, okay? Echo comes out tonight, but Star Wars, they're both owned by Disney. Guys, get your heads together. <laughs> they just announced a new movie, a whole Whoa. new movie. Um, is this going to be the big event film of the Mandoverse uh, that's been teased? It's not. Uh, but we'll get into it. <laughs> Save it. We're oh, oh, okay, you're right, you're right. Uh, keep watching this video to find out more. Uh, but yeah, today Star Wars announced uh, that uh, they're putting out a new movie called The Mandalorian and Grogu. For now, I think. Oh, don't say wait. Is that what? It's Whoa! Like? Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. That's we got a. That's the new graphic. Actual that's working graphic. title. Whoa. Yeah. That's nice. the new graphic. We're we're pitching this to them. Yeah. Hire us. You can have it, Kathy. Kennedy. <laughs> Is it? You can can I? I, I'm, I don't. I don't mean to be this guy. Yeah. Drop the the. The the. Yeah, Mandalorian <laughs> and Grogu. <laughs> Also, also, this is like this is like that scene in Facebook, the Facebook yeah. movie, where they're like, "Lose the the," and right. it changes it's the clear. game. <laughs> Lose the the. Lose you the sold the. Facebook. Um, <laughs> also, his name's Din Grogu now, not Grogu. Shut Jardin, up! I yeah, you, be. you, you wedged yeah. this. I did another f bomb. Yeah. You just, <laughs> his name is Din Grogu. Every time, yeah, because every time you think you you think you get on Star Wars, they do something like this. They you're like, this. wait, what are the rules? Yeah. Like Din. Uh, that's like. You know, Obi Wan's kids being Obi Wan, and then whatever their name is. Right, like but he else. should be Grogu Jardin, which I think. Yeah, he should sounds be. Sounds better. Yeah, Jardinair. Jardinair. <laughs> Grogu Jardinair. Yum 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 yum. Okay, let's get into everything we know. How our our world has been uh, turned upside down. Star Wars announced this film uh, today, saying that it's going to be directed by John Favreau and produced by John Favreau, Kathleen Kennedy, and Dave Filoni. And this is the new chapter in the Mandalorian and Grogu's journey, and will go into production in 2024. Whoa, that's this that's next year. year. Oh, it's right now. Yeah. It's happening so today. They could mean December. <laughs> they could mean December 2024. They could. Uh, they also included this picture by Lucasfilm concept designer, Whoa. supervisor Ryan Church. Can we leave this up for two seconds? I have a couple questions. Ryan could be watching, John. Here, here's two <laughs> things. Here's two things. Are the, is this one ship breaking in half? Are these two ships colliding? Is okay. is is Din Djarin escaping? Did he cause this problem? Also, <clears throat> how do you fly through a ship carrying a baby? Like, like that, and the baby's fine. No, this is one of those action sequences where he's already jumped out, and then they're falling, and then behind him it's like boom, and he's yeah. just flying down. It's one of those, ships. something like that. Yeah. It looks like the front of an X-wing. Could be like an E-wing or something like that. Yeah, I don't want to yeah. get into it. Uh, looks like that, and they're crashing through. I don't want to say uh, uh, like a first order ship. I don't think it's that. I don't think we're there yet. I think it is just a nefarious person ship. Mm. They're crashing through it. He hits eject right before. It's not. It's not the uh, the Nabu one or whatever it's called now. Oh, the uh, NT one. His new yeah, yeah. Naboo his, Starfighter ship. It's not yeah. his ship, so he right. probably borrowed. It looks like a star destroyer, a mini star destroyer, like uh, almost like a like a bigger ship. You know. Oh, like, you think it's a much it, bigger? It looked ship. like to me. Can we? Pull I think it's like that? two small. Did ships. you say star destroyer? No. No, no, small, no, no, small. no, no. You know, like uh, Moff Gideon's little mini cruiser. That's what I was talking oh, about. The yeah, smaller yeah, ones, or maybe like a U wing or something like that. The ones that Bo-Katan took. Yeah. Well, well, no, that huge one. One that oh, okay. although that one's way too big. Wait, <clears throat> it looks like a smaller one. Maybe he's doing like a Captain Marvel where he flew through it with his best guard and just pierced it. And it he's got away. a baby. <laughs> he's got, he's got the force. Five year old man. He can. He that 55. man can make an orb to protect oh, him from true. fire. That's true. So they probably did like their you upper know, atmosphere. They're yeah, fine. the psycho crusher like right through the psycho thing. Psycho crusher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't know where Grogu's head's at right now. He could be a little psychopath. He, he might have turned to the dark side. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. yeah. 
Someone's got to turn to that. So what's side. interesting is that I saw that this is this is going to be the next, right? They said the next chapter, not the final or mm. yeah. Because, because that was I remember there was a quote from John Favreau like um, maybe last year he was saying like yeah I could do this forever as long as they want I love the mm -hmm. show and I want to be here forever so I, for a second when I saw the news I was like oh they're gonna it's like a culmination of everything mm -hmm. maybe this is how they're gonna end the Mandoverse and, and put their final stamp on it but I guess not well yeah you know as this kind of story was developing today and like news was trickling out at first we thought yeah this is that big tie up movie right. they talked about where they're gonna bring all these characters together and then they were like no 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 no. We're still doing that movie. Yeah, this, this comes before that. Yeah. This, you know, Filoni has a part in this because Filoni's directing that movie. Right. But this one's directed by Favreau. And that makes me think like this is Mando season four. Right. right. This movie. Yeah. There, there was this quote. That, this was my question, I guess. Okay. There was a quote that they uh, came out with that I'm trying to like interpret. It's, it's, it says, The Mandalorian and Grogu will lead mm. Lucasfilm's ongoing feature development slate, including films. Uh, helmed by Shamin Obaya Chinoy, thank you, James Mangold, and Dave Filoni, who is currently developing Ahsoka Season 2. We'll get to that in a second, right. among uh, right. those in the work. So yeah, that, that, that verbiage of lead... I think kind of just implies that that's the first one. They yeah. want to do this first. Right, kind of like how, <clears throat> you know, Iron Man will lead the rest of the movies when, you know, coming right. out or something like that. They're going to come out with Hulk after and Thor and Cap. Yeah. That's how I read it to be. Which Star Wars was doing that at some point many years ago when, like, they were like, we're making a movie a year. Yeah. And then they got scared. <laughs> so those movies weren't working. <laughs> right. But this is them, like, you know, they this last year they've been kind of being like, okay, we're ready to go back. We went to TV, we learned our lessons, we made some things you guys liked, we made some things you guys watched, maybe didn't like, but you watched it. Now we're gonna do a movie again, yeah, get hyped. Yeah. But appreciate... now they're like, we're gonna do a bunch of movies again. Right. I, I do appreciate though that it seems like they, and we'll run through the, the movies that are still on the slate in a second, but I do appreciate that they are taking what's worked. Yeah, right? it's like, yes. uh, you know, I know a lot of people like the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. I think that like, that show didn't connect with a lot of people. It's not that team's not making a movie, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, um, it's nice that they're taking the kind of Star Wars stuff that people are a fan of, whether that be Rebels, Clone Wars, or this sort of Mando verse. And they're like, okay, great, this is working for people. People like where the story's going. We're just gonna make it into movies rather than like hiring a big name director right. and a big uh, or trying to build your way to the real project everyone wants to see, but then it fails before you can even launch the sure. whole thing. Yeah. You know? So yeah, no, that, that is a good point. I appreciate that too. Yeah, um, yeah. Should we go through the movies that we know Star Wars is going to be putting out? Yeah, sure. Um, so it seems like this is the first one, uh, Mando and Grogu. This is directed by John Favreau. We do also know that there's this like what, what Tom was kind of talking about earlier, which is like this: Hey, we want to put all these move these characters together, Ahsoka, Mando. They're like et in game Infinity War. That yeah. movie we thought was this movie, but for, had forgotten that's that's being directed by Dave Filoni. Right, right. right? right. So uh, Favreau's taking the Mandalorian and Grogu. Filoni is taking this other one that doesn't have a title yet. Um, then we have this like continuation potentially of the Skywalker saga. Sure. We've got Skywalker which is like saga, 50 yeah. years further in the future. Right. Kind of Ray is right setting up a Jedi right. A Jedi new, new Jedi, Jedi order, order or something yeah. like that. Uh again, light on the details. This didn't really get announced announced, but there was like some news coming out around mm -hmm. I want to say Star Wars Celebration a couple well, they of years brought, ago. Well, they brought Daisy Ridley out on stage to announce it. Oh, okay. The most recent uh, D23 thing. D23 was, Well, maybe it was D23. It? Yeah, it yeah. was whatever the most recent thing was. She actually came out and was like, oh, sorry, Evan. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, there's also a quote from The Hollywood Reporter when uh, around the time when it was being announced where it was saying, the project is intended as a standalone, but its success could lead to more movies. Mm. The Mandalorian one or the no, Ray the, one? No, uh, um, the Ray one. The Ray one. Yeah. Interesting. Because that one was that weird story where... Um, it was like Damon Lindelof put together a writer's room yeah. or something like that and, and wanted to make That's this movie. Right. So, that, I mean, as a fan of Lost and The Leftovers and, uh, and Watchmen, Watchmen, which is incredible, um, yeah. I'm excited to see that movie if, if yeah. you know. I, I don't, think, I don't think he's the writer on it, but I right. think he pitched the idea. Put the, put the room together kind right. of. I think it's smart of them too to be like, if it works, we'll do some more of them. Sure. Because that's right. the and problem they to, discovered yeah. with being like, we're going to do a sequel trilogy. There's going to be three movies and you Who know. Who knows what the plans are? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we're bringing in this guy and then like, just kidding, he's out now. We're going to bring in this guy to finish it. And now, nope, JJ's coming uh -huh. back and 
I, I also think they hope were, that they, they didn't know what they were doing. Right. And they promised these three movies, but didn't well, know the what they were doing. the train already left yet. the station. Yeah. 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 Also, and, then, and then the the final one, sorry, uh, to cut you off there, is this High Republic era movie directed by James Mangold. Mm -hmm. Now, he just wrapped up Indiana Jones 5, mm -hmm. uh, Dial of Destiny. Before that, um, make sure, uh, the Flash? Ford versus Ferrari? No. James Mangold. No, James Mangold did Flash. Flash. Ford versus Ferrari Robert before that, Flash. Logan, right? So right. that's James Mangold. I don't know. I, I, I'm not aware of another project he has between mm. you know this movie and that movie. So I wonder if this could be... Uh, a movie that comes like maybe he's already in pre-production right that. yeah yeah well it'll be interesting if like <clears throat> that high republic movie which is like way in the past from the star wars that we mm -hmm. know has any ties at all to like acolyte right which is the other project coming out right but yeah. that's a show that's a show that's a show yeah, 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 yeah. Which but is already they're... in production, if not, they just wrapped, right? Probably in production, at least. Like... They were definitely already shooting that yes. movie before the strike, yes. or show, before the strikes. Right. I don't know if they finished I'm pretty night. sure mm. we talked about that show on the old break yeah. set. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's been a oh, while. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. I remember that. But they, um, because that one, uh, that one might be the next one coming out, because that one's actually, yeah, if they're not in post right now, they're going to be wrapping it up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and therefore, it could be the next thing that comes out. That and maybe Skeleton Crew. Right. Yep. Well, that skeleton crew and like a second <clears throat> season of Andor. That's right. Over. That's also that's twenty twenty five now. That's yeah. good. that got moved. So we sorry, Evan, for destroying your rundown. Um, <laughs> no, we skipped fine. around all over this the is, place. This is great. So here's the question, right? I think you alluded to this earlier, and I think I agree with you. You think this was kind of, hey, we were going to do a Mando season four, let's do this movie instead. Completely. And there's probably a lot of reasons, right? You know, maybe Favreau didn't want to commit to like. Pedro Pascal, yeah. potentially Reed Richards, potentially oh uh, Last of Us Season 2. Man right. in Hollywood, yeah. He's, he's um, doing a Zach Kreger movie yeah. next year, or this year. Uh, you know, he was in, he's in Gladiator 2. I think that's all done now. I think they've finished yeah. all the shooting for that. Uh, and then yeah. he was at the Golden Globes with his arm in a sling, so who knows the status of him. I mean, you Jeez. don't need a ton of Pedro for Mando. I mean, right? last I season was a voiceover role. Did you say right? this in Slack, which was like... <laughs> It's a movie. If it's a movie, he's mascot it, for most of the time. Has they got to show his face a lot. Especially, you know, we were talking about where Mando left off at the end of season three. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, he, he was sort of like retired. He's not retired, but he had accepted that like he didn't need to be a cultist. He didn't. Yeah, well, that's he didn't true. Need yeah, yeah. And like, and you know, the armor jobs, has gone yeah. out of her way to be like, hey, here's Bogotan. Mm -hmm. Check her out. <laughs> yeah. She's got her helmet off. She's got the dark saber. She lives in both worlds, and maybe that's okay. And a lot of these dudes and ladies with stinky faces who've been masked on their whole life are like, "What did she just say? Yeah. Excuse me, what? You, uh, you would think, you would think." But that I bet Mando adopts like a. Ma I bet this movie is him. Like, I'm free, baby. You know what I want? I and want. He's gonna go back to that little toad farm, find that lady. With the blue, the blue, oh, that's right. The blue minnows, with the T Rex AT, the blue shrimp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. He's gonna go lock it. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 they're gonna go underneath the pond, put the little yeah. basket over him. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Grogu's gonna be like, <laughs> I think he's gonna win a soup. Like, to <laughs> support your theory, right? Like, Marvel has sort of learned some lessons and and had some time to think over the strike period. Bob Iger has kind of come in and said, you know, these Disney Plus shows are maybe not making us as much money as we want them to. I'm sure The Mandalorian is their most popular Star Wars oh, yeah. right. show, but I still think that the Star Wars shows probably rank lower than the Marvel shows in terms of viewership. Sure. Um, so I, I wouldn't be surprised too if this was like Bob Iger basically saying like, you know, hey, if your story can be truncated a little bit and turned into a film, let's do that. We'll make a lot more money that way. Especially since like the last season, I think, you know, everybody agrees. Well, not, it was probably the weaker out of the three that's come out so far from Mandalorian. So I don't but, agree with that. You don't? Okay. No. Well, you're wrong. Um, so <laughs> there's, there's, but so there's opportunities where, you know, you could have removed some, you know, some, some filler. And so maybe they're, you know, with, if they have a specific idea or a right. specific plan, that's what a movie could do well. You know, my, my theory about this whole Mandalorian show, which I was wondering if they're going to do in this, um, it depends, I guess, if they keep it going, is that the, the show's really about the Mandalorian being Grogu, and he was going to be the next first Mandalorian. He was going to have the dark saber, and he could grow up to be the first Jedi Mandalorian can since the ancient... It? Yeah, well, when he grows up, maybe he, he can just force hold mind, it. Yeah, just use so his like mind, force hold it. Spin it around him. But that's been the wind that's been kind of taken out of that sail since they introduced um, in Ahsoka the Sabine being also a Jedi Mandalorian, so I didn't, it's right, not going to be right. as special anymore, so I wonder what they're going to... Like what, what, what the, they have to have an important thing to say for this movie, right? They have to make it more epic than what they could in a show. 
Yeah, I think you go a little bigger. Yeah. It's tightly focused on Mandalorian and Grogu because season three, to your point, dealt a lot with like Bo Katan, mm -hmm. right? The adventures, which is fine are, and great. Yeah. You know, it is the show is called The Mandalorian, right. so about the Mandalorian people yeah. coming back together again. I could see like, you know, Ahsoka leaves off with. Uh, Ahsoka Tano and Sabine <laughs> stuck in Peridia. Right. Uh, Morgan Elsbeth's dead. Thrawn's mm -hmm. in this universe. He's in the main time. Death will be doing something. Yeah. Yeah. With yeah with the witches and uh, Ezra's back with the with Hera who couldn't even cry when she saw him again. <laughs> and Chopper's the only one who gives a shit. Uh, and Zed never showed up. What's going on? Zeb's at the bar. So yeah. He's yeah. Hanging out. So you so they're gonna have to like resolve that. And that's what this Ahsoka season two is probably about, right? Getting Ahsoka sure. back to getting the, world. the rebels back together. Yeah. yeah. So let's talk more about Ahsoka season two. I also want to ask you guys who could be in this movie, whether that be some folks that we've already seen in The Mandalorian or some people that maybe they would pull from the sequel trilogy kind of back early, into an earlier early history. But uh, first, we want to thank. Uh, a couple of people who help us make this show, starting with Factor. Whoa. We've been sponsored by Factor before, uh, and these meals, chef's kiss, are good. <laughs> Factor's ready to go, ready to eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, skip the prep work, skip the cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door with over 35 meals to choose from per week. They rotate. Uh, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons. You'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. Hey, don't buy takeout. Factor is cheaper, mm. more delicious, Whoa. and it's the, it's 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 in your fridge already. Yeah, <laughs> um, they're ready to eat. Uh, after you heat them for just two minutes, which means, uh, hey, you can spend less time sitting in front of the microwave. Factor now, <laughs> I, hey, I, my microwave took four minutes to heat up today, and I was standing by the microwave like a sad little boy waiting mm. for it to be done. <laughs> um, that's me time. That's right. <laughs> Factor now off offers lots of snack options like breakfast, smoothies, juices, <laughs> snacks, and more to keep you going no matter what's on the schedule. And with offerings like Protein Plus and Keto, these can, I don't know why I say keto like keto. that. And keto, uh, these can help you stay on track if you've got new diet goals for the new year. Factor is everything you need for a week of flavorful, nutritious eats. So head to factormeals.com slash breakroom50 and use code breakroom50 to get 50% off. Mm. That's code breakroom50 at factormeals.com slash breakroom50 to get 50% off. Get it off. A good deal. We um we also shouted out some of our merch that we're wearing at the top of the show. But uh, Echo's coming out tonight. We have two amazing Echo sh inspired shirts in, in nerdwrite.shop right now. I don't know if we have graphics for those. So go to nerdwrite.shop. We've got great stuff uh, inspired by a bunch of cool Star Wars characters that you love, a bunch of great Marvel characters. Uh, and we're super excited about some of the stuff that's coming out in the future. Heck yeah. Sweet. And get a classic shirt while you're at it. Yeah. Get a classic. There you go. Did There's you see that they made a new um, Echo poster based off the hand things? Like, we have, I saw that, idea. and I was like, oh, John's going to be so I mad. Mean, it's a pretty basic <laughs> idea. Uh, but yeah, I know. I did see it, and I was like, okay, I, I, we're thinking along the same page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, great mind. Great mind. Great mind. Right. Right. Exactly. So uh, uh, I want to get to Ahsoka Season 2 in a second here because we left off with a kind of a cliffhanger in a lot of many yeah. cliffhangers oh, yeah. in a lot of ways. Um, but first, I do kind of want to talk about like who could this, what, what could the plot of this movie be? Who could be showing up? Who do you want to see? Who are you okay with? You know, mm. we know Brandon doesn't want to go to Tatooine. No. Uh, you know, no. is it okay if we <laughs> don't, don't see get, the daimyo? You know, uh, <laughs> Boba Fett in this movie. Yeah. You know, <sighs> don't put Boba Fett in this movie. I think he's a I think this yeah. will be like kind of you know, you said an Infinity War and Endgame, right? I think that's kind of what this double whammy sure. is. Uh, I bet we see Boba Fett, Fennec Shan probably makes an appearance. Bo-Katan. Uh, I, you know what? I want a, I want this movie to be 
my dinner with Mandalorian and Grogu and Pelimoto. I just want them all in a cantina <laughs> a together. Tight, tight movie. Just, yeah, very no, it real can time. Be, it can be two hours. Real just time. like a three-hander the whole time. Just there, yeah. I mean, hanging out. Pelimoto better be. <laughs> oh, she's idea. not in this. Oh, I hope it's, I hope she doesn't die in this. You know, uh, sometimes they do that where they'll take the I'll character you love I don't and kill him off in the movie. I don't think it's physically possible to kill uh, Amy Sedaris. Yeah, probably Fingers not. Crossed. Like, She's unstoppable. Yeah. You can stop her pitch. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, we probably will go to Tatooine. Maybe this will be. Maybe this will. Well, I think we'll only the go Boba there. Fat. We'll go there to pick up Boba, and yeah. then we'll head off. Maybe it could be about yeah. The he has a ship. He can be elsewhere. We can get him from a. You know, he's doing a delivery or something. The the fire. The fire, fire spray. Fire spray. Yeah, no longer. We don't say the old. No name. longer the old name. Don't say the old name anymore. Yeah, we, it's got a new uh, name now. Uh, but um, yeah. Have you heard about that? The slave one. <laughs> Don't say it, John. Don't now you just conjured it, and it's gonna break John, through the building. We're better people now. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't hear about that. But continue. we, we oh, yeah. renamed the it, ship. It's no longer that. It's the fire no spray or fire fire. It's the type of ship. That it's it the name is. of the. Yeah, exactly. The we're get, are they yelling in the comments? They're probably are screaming. people mad at us. Canceled. See, they, uh, <laughs> we saw the graphic. <laughs> oh, people have been asking for that back. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Great. <laughs> Good to know that but, we need the graphic. Back. But I wonder if this movie is going to be about, like, yeah, the Mandalorians retaking uh, Mandalore and making it back their home. And now they're going to have a whole world planet of Mandalorians. So that way, when the Dave Filoni movie comes, the, you know, the good guys have an army in addition yeah. to the. Does this movie, like, you know? end on a downer? I mean, my prediction for this movie would be Admiral Thrawn has Grogu by the end of the movie. Um, in like a Empire Strikes Back kind of way, we gotta go get Grogu. But they already sort of did that in Mandalorian season two, right? Moff Gideon had Grogu locked up for a little while. Yeah, but it, that, that was all resolved within the season. Sure. I think like the cliffhanger of like, cause okay, what's gonna, what do you think comes first? Ahsoka Tana season two or this movie? Cause that's the important movie, thing. This right? movie will come out Probably, what, summer? And Disney Star Wars had, uh, they were really enjoying that, like, Christmas time mm -hmm. release yeah. for, for the yeah. movies. I wouldn't be, I think this will probably be a summer. Wait, wait, quick question. Did they did they confirm Ahsoka season two in this announcement? Uh -huh. Yeah, they, they okay, said it's Because it, before this, it had not been confirmed. Okay, okay, we great, great. have some kind of scoop stuff about that, but when mm. we get to okay. that. I will say, though, right, like, in 2025, Marvel has four movies yeah, they're gonna on the on the docket. Yeah. So I don't know how uh, Disney's gonna find. A f I mean, there's a lot of days in, uh, yeah. in the year, but there's 52 Fridays. Um, this guy, quick math. Wow, wow, um, wow. So you know, they, you know, this year's a leap day, year, so we get an extra day. They should have done it this. Well, it could be more than 52 Fridays. They'll take these actually. guys to Vegas. They'll get arrested counting cards. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. They can't arrest um, you. I do have a, I do have an ankle bracelet on as we speak. Um, no, but it'll be interesting because. They'll have five big flagship movies. They want to yeah. space them out. They don't want them to compete with each other. That's going to be difficult. Oh, one more thing about the Mando movie I was thinking is, you know, the biggest thing I think out of that show that everyone can agree on is season two, Luke coming out. What if this is their chance <clears throat> to reintroduce the new cast that's going to take on these characters? Because I don't think they can deep fake. Well, first of all, with Thrawn coming, sorry, let me back up. With Thrawn coming, mm -hmm. and they're probably going to do Heir of the Empire. Like in the books, it was a, the the story really revolved around Luke, Leia, and, right. and Han. So, <clears throat> are they going to deep fake these actors in you know in perpetuity? I hope not. I think that they could they could find actors Just who could embody, someone. yeah, cast yeah. new people for the next thirty years of Star Wars. I mean, to you, come in and do it, and this could be a chance to introduce some of them, if not all of them, yeah. because we're already skirting around it so much. Like with three PO showing up and Ahsoka being like, I have a message from Leia. Yeah, or you know, or and we already have uh, um, what's his name, the Han, young Han. I don't know. Kylo. Well, no, no, no. The and Elrich. Alden Aaron Wright. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Alden Aaron Wright. I don't Thank have you. the quote pulled, but I want to say one of the Star Wars executives said recasting Han Solo was like one of the worst mistakes that they had ever made, or something similar to that. I mean, you you bring up a good point though, Tom, about like how do you not have Luke involved in this movie? Right. If like Admiral Thrawn is such a huge threat. <clears throat> Luke. And if Luke, Leia, and Han exist at this yeah. timeline, how are well, they well, not part of the story? But right. we know that we know that short. Well, we don't know when, but Luke went into sort of, you know, I guess the timeline he would be. He would he's be still, he's still, Kylo's not yeah, born yeah, right. yet. So right. Kylo was a, already a, a what, teen, up. twenty something. So yeah, right. he Luke isn't um, sad and alone yet. Yeah, he's. <laughs> He's uh, he's active and taking yeah. care of shit. And I mean, they're the trying. They're, this is the tough position they're right. in, right? Because it's like we know the future. We know like 50 years from now what's going on. 
you know, the First Republic had, or the First Order's got to rise to power. And somehow point. Palpatine And they've already put yeah. out books that cover a lot True. of what happened to get to that point. Now, they've, they've done a, they were somewhat clever on Ahsoka by being like, like, oh, nothing's going on. We're the, you know, they're showing that whatever, whoever's in charge is corrupt to some event. You know, mm -hmm. you can't fully flesh out the Empire. They don't have time to replace everybody or right. the manpower. And, you know, you have this, like, New Republic being like, this is not a problem. We're not going to put resources towards it. You're crazy. Because it does sound a little crazy. There's yeah. a guy in another dimension, yeah. galaxy. You think Thrawn's back? Show us yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but, and they've already been establishing, too, that, like, Moff Gideon and his little circle has people whose children are involved in the First Order. So it's like, right. they are kind of slow playing that. But, like, I don't say how, how you could have this galaxy-level threat, like Admiral Thrawn, and be like, Luke, Ahsoka, who goes to his planet all the time, if she gets back in this world, is it like, hey, Luke, can you come help? And he's like... Unless the galaxy level threat is in another galaxy. Oh, ah, no more galaxies. We can go to other galaxies now, <laughs> supposedly. Star Trek? Yeah, Star Trek. Oh, uh, uh. Khan? Sorry, Khan, what were going to say? And Thrawn? I was going to make a pitch. Pitch me. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, we don't want to do CGI. Would you like to water? Do we you don't... water? No, no. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to do CGI, Luke. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We don't want to recast Luke. Mm -hmm. We can't have Mark Hamill running around as a seventy-year-old man. Uh -huh. um, what if Luke becomes? Oh no! Uh, Mandalorian of the cloth. Oh no! <laughs> For a oh, short time god. period, a dude in a helmet. And he's just oh, like, oh, god. Yeah, I'm a dude in a helmet. No, so you're, you're trying to pull like awful. you're trying to pull a power. You Rangers. gotta put a mask yeah, on. Yeah, you gotta put the power actors, Rangers, you know, yeah. they, they they power up, and suddenly they're. I had some karate. really yeah, exactly. nasty scarring happen to my face that does yeah. clear up in a few years. <laughs> oh god! I'm having a. I'm, I can't get any sun today. <laughs> got light skin. He's gonna be like, I have to wear this helmet for the next two hours, however long this movie is. I'll take it off as soon as we're done. I, I think you... This is like a tough question, yeah. right? They have an actor who portrays Luke on both Mandalorian and Ahsoka or whatever. Was he on Ahsoka? No. I don't remember. Not Ahsoka, uh, forget no. that. Uh, on the Mandalorian, on Mandalorian yeah. and the Book of Boba Fett. Um, yeah, that's where they came back. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're thank right, you, you're thank right. you. <laughs> they have an actor, but they are deep faking his face. Right. And they got him because he his face is the right geometry right. to be deep faked, as opposed to he's the best well, actor. Now, he might be the best that, actor. And but. Now, we've seen it done really well with Tarkin. Sure. Right? We've seen it done maybe not as successfully with Leia. Mm -hmm. This is now a movie budget rather than a TV show budget. Right. We're also several years removed from those movies and those shows. <laughs> Technology is improving Mm -hmm. insanely fast, especially when it comes to deep fake stuff. Right. I think they could do it. I mean, just recast, I, would feel man. Weird. Just I, recast. I agree with the recast. I like the recasting. Like, find the new fresh face that embodies yeah. the person. You're not ready for it? No, saying? I think they are afraid. Oh, they're afraid. Oh, of course, because, well, Han, I mean, it's, you know, them not thinking, you know, that young Han was a good idea. Is, like, there's a lot of things that are related and connected to that as opposed to just the casting. Sure. I think I people's I problem the with the movie that. wasn't the casting. Yeah. If anything, the casting was freaking awesome in that movie. There were so many other problems, but... Well, yeah. and, and, you know, I would argue recasting Lando is one of the best things that right. they've ever done. Yeah. And that is right. a movie that is apparently also in development that hasn't been oh, confirmed, it a movie or so show? it wasn't on our well, list. It goes so back and forth. Yeah, it goes back and forth. But anyway, you're right. Show. Casting that Lando was one of the best things they did. So they could do it. I just think they're afraid, which I understand, but, you know, we're... We're all grown-ups. So let's just do it. We understand that people get old and that we have new actors. Right. And there's new young actors who can embody these characters so well. And you know, and we know that Marvel is, uh, I mean, Marvel, Disney's great at casting, right? Yeah. Between all the Marvel movies and even the Star Wars projects, that all the people they found have been great. So I don't know, just, just do it, man. Just do it. Kathleen, just Yeah. A lot it. of people in the chat are also saying that we should recast. Yeah. They don't, should get, I mean, like, Disney needs to get over that. It, Wait, it is. You're right. It's like a Disney Marvel, problem. It's a Marvel, Disney problem. Marvel yeah. needs to recast, too. Right. right. Yeah. Uh, now, We're waiting till Secret if, Wars. If you have an actor who kind of looks like Mark Hamill and yeah. like, has the right size and all that, and you put a little prosthetic on his face to really sell it, is that deep faking? Too Not much? if it's a prosthetic, but that's it. And I'm Joe Clay is going to call it a penis on your face in the Golden Globes. <laughs> and... uh, no, it's true. It's true. Too niche but like, you know, like Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Looper, like wearing prosthesis to look that's like true. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. You know. Worked well. It's just like that. I, I agree that they should just yeah. test because I think you I'd have a bunch of actors, you have some CG already going on, like right. CG characters. 
And then you have like a deep faked actor. It's like, what is going on here? Yeah. Just like cast someone and tell me he looks good. Yeah, I think pro- I think over I think prosthetics would be a step too far. If you're already gonna cast, you know, right. I mean, just find the person that now Mark Hamill. Second pitch. Yeah. Mark Hamill might want that voiceover check. That's and be true. Like, deep fake or that guy. re-speech. Second check. pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Lucas remastered editions turns Luke into some sort of alien. <laughs> In the, tri- in the trilogy. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and we do scene. it for the sequels, uh-huh. too. I like it. And then you can just have a, a 3D model. New pitch, new pitch on your pitch. Okay. You recast Luke, but then you go back and put him into all the movies. You right. re-release all the movies <laughs> all over again. Do they the, Christensen? Yeah. The end, of, the end of Return of the Jedi, no. Yeah. He, he lays and down and, and you goes, like Doctor yeah. Who and he becomes a new actor yeah. and now it's he's regenerated. We're in a new hope you add even more shit in the tattoo when <laughs> yep. they're going into Mos Eisley. And then there's three hour barely cuts see. There's so much stuff going by the OT camera. movie. Yeah. It looks great. No one complains. While we're at it we re-release E.T. Put those guns back in those cops' hands. Have them that has a, already happened. Have him take a few pop shots happened. at E.T. And then have Han shoot too. third. Somehow yeah, someone else another guy shot. Bus in. Someone else was shooting in there. Cad Bane shows Cad up. Cad Bane shows up. He's there too. Cobb Vanth wakes up from that tube. Cobb Vanth has got to be in all these movies, by the way. This should now become a yeah, Cobb Vanth. Movie. Exactly. Cobb Vanth and the Mandalorian. He'll be, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be Timothy Oliphant on the poster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, all right, we've talked about this a lot. We, we'll try to find we some feelings. time uh, either later this week or next week to kind of come back to some of this stuff because it is really exciting and we want to put kind of a full show together. I'm excited to have Star Wars back in the movie. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, that will yeah, be fun. It's, it's been I long mean, enough. Because when we went, we went to a press screen for like Ahsoka and they showed the first two episodes on the big screen best two episodes of the series uh it looked great and i was like oh man i missed this in a a movie theater and the not only that but the 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 crowd that we saw that movie with it it was during the strikes so it was mostly instead of the a lot of times it's like journalists and then cast and crew Mm -hmm. this was journalists and fans yeah mostly fans (laughs) mostly fans so being able to see it in the the theater with a bunch of fans was super i went to the andor fyc event sorry real quick and uh, i got to watch the finale of andor in the theater and i was like this is john has a thousand times better i have now seen oh Oh, yeah i was like you haven't i I had watched all of them but the finale for (laughs) a a he was holding out i've done that with a few shows better call saw i still have not watched the finale i don't Uh, know whatever Anyway, sorry, Evan. We're gonna... No, I really wish I could have seen the Andor uh, season finale in a theater. I was just thinking about that finale today, and I was like, I think I cried during that. But regardless, yeah, Star Wars back in theaters. I just wanted to say that it was like my like family's kind of Christmas tradition to go mm. see the Star Wars mm. movies when they were coming out because they'd always come out around the holidays, if not on Christmas. Yeah, I think right. The new the new trilogy did, or the the sequel trilogy, sequel trilogy. and all the uh, solo films except or the spinoff films except solo. So yeah, it was fun to see all that stuff. Seeing Rogue One like on Christmas Day. Uh. See, Disney oh, was is, is a great re- Christmas movie. Rogue so, One. Disney's ruining Rogue family died. traditions it's, by stopping. Bring it back, Disney. Yeah, there's yeah. no way 2025 has an Avatar, right? I thought that's when it's set is it, for. Isn't right? it set it's for Christmas? It's set for Christmas 2025, right? The James sure. Cameron. Right? It'll get yeah, moved. Yeah, yeah. It'll get moved. It, th- th- that movie. Nine more years. This movie. <laughs> Nine more years. The, la- the last Skywalker or the Rise of Skywalker was the the last movie I saw in a theater. Before, Before the, the pandemic. pandemic started. Yeah. So that was like ah. my last one. Uh, you didn't see Birds of Prey? No, mine was it. Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. So. Yeah. Two? Wait, one or two? I forget. The one. first one. One. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, it was one. One with old. The... Get over it. Oh. And when I saw that they had redone the design, that's when I checked out. I wanted to see that old <laughs> teethy the, one. The human I, wanted, teeth. I wanted the human teeth weirdo creepy one. But they were oh, well. these. They were modeled after mine. <laughs> um, Okay, we, we've talked about it a little bit more about yeah. this other announcement that was made today, Ahsoka Season 2. Woo! We know that that's confirmed. We did hear a uh, funny little... Uh, we, we got a tip that there was a job posting online looking for PAs for Ahsoka Season 2 uh-huh. back in November. Uh, that would have been right after the strikes ended. I don't think that this is already written and ready for production. Maybe that was just like a weird mistake, job posting, something like that. Maybe. That would be pretty quick. Um, Then again, you know, Filoni's got to have a little Bible of all of his sure friends. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I mean, the yeah. way that it ended, too, in, in Perigo. Yeah, it barely got into the story. Balin's skull. Right, yeah. exactly. We somehow got a, a full show that barely talked about what's going on. Yeah. Right. Well, so I want to, and I want to talk about the cliffhangers, right? Yeah. We have... Uh, Thrawn with his sort of what were they called? Dark, tro- dark, dark night troopers. Night, night troopers. Night troopers. Night troopers. Um, on his way to the those are da- da- on his way to Dathomir. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Right, that was where they left off. We have Ezra and uh, 
Ezra yeah. came back with Hera. Yeah. Ezra is with Hera and Chopper. Chopper. Yep. We've got Sabine and Ahsoka on Peridia. Peridia. And Zeb's at the bar. And, yeah. Yeah, and Zeb's at the bar. <laughs> yeah. And we have Shin on Peridia. Shin's and on Peridia. We have, That's right. Uh, Balin. Balin also looking for the Mortis gods mm -hmm. on Peridia. So that's a lot of characters all over the place. Mm -hmm. You know, where do we think that this story will focus? Obviously, it's called Ahsoka Season 2. We'll see Peridia again. Yeah. Do you, do we deal with Thrawn more? Or is that like, hey, we're going to save that. That's He's going to be the villain for these other movies. We're going to drop that storyline for now. We're just going to focus on them getting out of Peridia. Where, where does that story go? It'll probably be like... Thrawn, it'll be Thrawn all on like Dathomir, like consolidating forces, building up, and then making probably like some sort of move at the end of that show that mm. if this show comes out before the movie, leads into the movie. Like maybe he'll announce himself by the end of when yeah. he'll show up with his ships and his... Because I would, think, I would think you put the show out before the Mandalorian I... and Grogu if, if Thrawn's going to be involved in the Mandalorian and Grogu, unless this all involves like... The Mandalorian and Grogu movie involves Thrawn sans Ahsoka. And I don't even talk about what's going on in the Ahsoka series. I don't even think that the Mandalorian and Grogu needs to involve Thrawn. I don't know. I think... Well, they they the kind of have. They will Moff give you... I don't know. Moff but maybe they're right. up to it, But yeah, maybe yeah. not. I think that it's going to be... I think they're going to keep Thrawn for the big Heir to the Empire Filoni mm -hmm. movie. So they're probably not going to have him that much because they're going to say, oh, he needed time to build his army or whatever that he needs right. to do because they're not going to... They're probably not going to want to do a Rise of Skywalker and be like, oh, by the way, here's 10,000 starships that... She, I mean, super star destroyers that we've just had that we've been chilling on. And that he's, he's probably... They're probably going to focus on what's going on with Balin, Ahsoka, and Sabine getting back, right? Hopefully. Speaking of recasting. Oh yeah. You gotta recast Balin. Yeah. I don't wanna see a deep faked Balin. No. Definitely don't wanna don't. see a deep No fake. way. Yeah. Uh, and and, and for that character to not come back because they don't want to recast would be such a disservice. Yeah. Great great story, great performance. Oh. I do wanna say, you know, it's it's a similar problem that uh, one of the problems I had with the Ahsoka series, I, I really enjoyed it, but one of the problems I had was it felt like a show of two halves and you didn't know who the villain was. Right. It was like was it Morgan? Was it Balin? Was it Thrawn? And so if you do a season two and you have Ahsoka and Sabine on this other planet that Ezra could not get away from for so long. Obviously now, you know, Ahsoka knows that she could just get on the get in the mouth of a whale and right, get out of there. Right. Um, but then you have Thrawn on this other in this other galaxy. It's like how do you do how do you do that right. villain uh, push pull, right? Maybe the Who whole the season maybe the, the whole season will take place on Peridia. With Ahsoka there because they've got enough people, and then with Balin going to whatever that light, the temple is. Because one one of the things from the, <clears throat> I think it was the books or was it the old uh, non-canon? So they're you know like uh, we've they've introduced in the shows now you know the father, the mother, and the, the I mean the father, the daughter, and the son, right? Mm -hmm. The Force kind of uh, gods, the Mortis gods. But there's actually a character who's like the mother, uh, mm, who right. who's yeah. kind of like the night sister god, right. I think. Right. So if and, and she's really messed up, and so if Balin finds her to you know get that power, and then she could become this god villain, like someone new that we've never even heard of before, maybe like even a Hela in terms of like the god of death or something, and then they could be fighting them on Peridia. It could just yeah, even that, be contained in that sense. I do think that would be an interesting story where you're torn between wanting to leave and going back to this thing that you started, right? This you you want to go back to your friends, you want to go back to your home, you want to make sure Thrawn doesn't kill everyone. Um, and then being torn between that mission and also like, oh, and also we think that something really fucked up is going to happen here and we need to kind of stay here to make right. sure that that doesn't happen. Oh, and the other thing I was That's thinking is that it's, they're just because they're on Peridia doesn't mean they can't fly to other planets in this galaxy. Like, we in our galaxy, we have Tatooine, we have Hoth, right? We have Endor. So maybe there's other planets that are involved in this new galaxy, yeah, not just ship Peridia. Was mo more or less destroyed, right, in the... Which he drove through the TIE fighters and then it crashed. Right. Um, That's but, right. You know, I'm sure they could, could repair it. Yeah. yeah. They got those little have, turtle boys. Turtles have repair <laughs> yeah, I don't they got know. turtle power. I don't know. Yeah, they got turtle power. <laughs> they got turtle power. Uh, here's my pitch. Uh, the caskets are full that we're taking to death. Mm -hmm. We know that you know the Night Sisters can reanimate the dead. The caskets are full of all the characters from the prequels. <laughs> and this big Dexter movie, this big movie yeah, will Dexter be like, Dexter comes out, yeah, all the characters from the prequels come back. 
They're Dude, fighting with the other characters. Deep fake Luke Skywalker is there. Animated people come out from the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah animated people. Willow shows up for some Willow, reason. Willow, too. I don't know why. Yeah. Willow. Dark Christmas. And then he puts involved. on the Ewoks and he becomes yeah, a Yeah, all the universes yeah. are open. It's all Lucasfilm. Then yeah, Indy all... comes in with the Archimedes dial. Right, oh, right, dude, right. This is uh, American Graffiti. That's the one. A car comes driving <laughs> in. It's just like the Lucasverse. Yeah, yeah, yeah THX, yeah. whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah THX 1139. Yeah. Well, we'll leave you with that thought uh, today. That's it for the break room. Hey, make sure to subscribe to this channel and all of our, our channels in the New Rockstars Network. Um, and give us a follow on Twitch where we do these videos live. Maybe you're here right now. Um, you guys want to, where, where can people find you online? <laughs> you can find me at Tom on the Mic at all the places. Uh, yeah, uh, usually I'm, I'm trying not to be on X that much because reasons, but yeah, uh, Evan and I are on threads, right? Yeah, Whoa. we love, we love threads. Evan just we're we're friends, we're friends with, no, I'm threads. just saying, we're, I got a friend and he's yeah, on threads too, we're on threads. So there you go. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and go watch Tom and uh, the Brother's Son episode. Oh, that's oh. right, yeah, if you're watching the Brother's Son, you might've seen me uh, being a security guard in there, but anyway, yeah, good show, oh, okay. good show okay. too. Great. Great. You guys don't want to, nothing? No, you can, have find, you can find Brandon and I here. You don't want to say something in French or uh, German? Uh, he just came back from a uh, Euro trip. I've been on a good tag. I'll be the same, my dominant hand. Bien. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we'll see you guys uh, next time. <laughs>